before we get into the serious stuff, I thought uh, I'll show you my exciting new uh, finds. So here we have some more chemicals I bought off a, a good friend uh, and fellow science advantage user. Happens to live in the same state as me. Um, look, it's sulfuric acid. That's not black. It's 50%, so I'm going to have to concentrate that. Um, you know, in the future, uh, and I'll probably make a video out of that. Um, this is just concentrated ammonia. I, I have a liter of that already, but well, I did have a liter. I've used a liter. I've got another liter. It's not exciting. And what is exciting? I was walking down here. This is. I mean, you don't generally see. This is the lab here. This is the. I don't know. This is just. I have to share this. A car that doesn't quite work. Um, Long-term project. Um, shed stuff. Shed stuff. Lab stuff. Anyway, that, that's the CD corridor. Just because it's dark. Um, yeah, I was walking down here and uh, I spotted that thing on the on the shelf. On the shelf. Oh, sorry, nearly lost my voice. Um, all right, you may think, oh, what's this? What's this? Worked it out yet? That's right. Excitingly, it's the fucking lid for my blender. I found it. Yeah, <laughs> I can blend stuff and not use this fucking stupid thing. No, oh, I'm so so excited. All right. Anyway, onto the science. Um, we have our two DDNPs here, and they are of different um, crystal densities. Um, uh, and we want them, and they're both sort of low crystal densities, and we want them to be high crystal densities because we want to see the best it can do. Um, so we're going to recrystallize it from acetone, the two biggest here. We're going to dissolve it in acetone and let the acetone evaporate slowly completely. Okay, here we have 0.8 of a gram of both DDMPs, and you can see there's quite a significant volume difference between the two of them. Um, but it's actually the opposite way that I thought it was going to be. Um, this one here, the para was meant to be the, uh, the low density product, and the ortho was meant to be the high density product. But somehow we've ended up uh, creating um, the para DDMP at a higher density than the ortho DDMP. Um, I mean, it's not that much difference but the fact that it's the other way around is, is a bit surprising to me um you know yeah but that doesn't make a difference they should be they should be about the same density once we've finished um with this recris so we have a bottle of god damn it. we have a bottle of acetone here um, this is why i should clean up Anyway, we have a bottle of acetone here, um, and we're going to be adding acetone slowly until we're set and everything is dissolved, and then we're... Yep, I'm going to do that right now. Alright, uh, first thing we notice is a colour difference between the now three uh, beakers. Um, this is the ortho DDMP. It dissolved fairly easily. In probably it's probably about thirty mils there. It probably dissolved in all about twenty, but I have thirty for the smoke. Reason I can't add extra just to make sure everything's dissolved. Um, the parrot DDMP took all oh, how many fifty mils, fifty mils of acetone and did not dissolve. So I poured the um, de well, decanted off the the liquid that is dissolved into there um, because I have a feeling that uh, undersold stuff might just be impurities, but so I added more acetone. I don't think it's all dissolved actually. And um, we'll see uh, if we get um, a better, you know, a better burning product out of this one rather than this one and see if we um, did actually do some purification here. Um, but now I guess I just have to wait. All right, so it's been a while, and the acetone has evaporated quite uh, quite significantly off these things, um, and we have some lovely crystals in the bottom of this uh, jar. Oh, it's not going to focus, is it? Um, we're going to let it focus, and then somehow show you that the lovely crystals in the bottom. Yeah, I don't know. I can't really appreciate them on camera, can you? Anyway, you just have to take my word for it that they're lovely. These ones, um, they're in there as well, but they're even harder to see because the solution is just so 
black. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to tip the rest of these contents into water. Um, and that will precipitate the rest of the DDMP that's still dissolved currently out um, pretty much instantly. And that will come out as like a nice fluffy microcrystalline powder. So we'll have our large crystals of DDMP surrounded by lots of powder. And that will give us a really good density because um, we've got you know good crystals which obviously have the maximum density it can be because um, it's a solid in that crystal. But the crystals pack the whole system packs together really well because you because um, it's not all crystals the crystals are surrounded by by a mass of DDMP so everything fits together nicely um, and yeah and hopefully I mean th this increasing density isn't really the biggest issue I keep harping on about it but it's really not a huge deal um, what we're really trying to do here is um, get these two things to the same density really All right, just checking out the uh, the powder DDMP under the microscope, and uh, they're really, really pretty crystals. Um, it's quite hard to take pictures, so I just take heaps of pictures and choose the good ones. But if we look through the eyepiece, you can sort of see the nice crystals in there. All right, so we've finished now, um, but I have to explain to you what I've done. So, uh, for the powder DDMP, this is the powder DDMP recrystallized. Um, lovely golden flakes, you can see them glittering on the side there. Uh, that is from simply crushing out that acetone solution into water. Um, and it looks like it's pretty low yielding, they didn't actually weigh that. But um, I don't know why that is, I guess we've, we've just lost some... Maybe didn't add enough water or added too much water, I don't know, but we've lost some a little bit there. Um, or maybe not, I'm not really sure. Um, and with the ortho DDMP, I also crashed into water. But before I finished crashing into water, um, I noticed that the crystals that had uh, formed simply from the evaporation of acetone, which are these ones, were a lot nicer and significantly different than the ones that were coming out of the water, which is these ones there. Um, once again, it's always a little hard to see on camera. Um, these are sort of a browny colour and these are more black. Definitely, there's definitely a, a big difference in colour between these two. So, um, I've got these two uh, DDMP ones, uh, crystals, as opposed, as well as the uncrystallised version. So, um, I looked at all of these under the microscope and the first thing you'll notice um, when I go through all the photos is that all the DDMPs are the same colour. Which is interesting um, because all five of these are, are significantly different colours from each other. Um, you can tell the difference between the colours of all of them um, fairly easily. So uh, look through the microscope, they're all um, the same colour, so the, the overall colour is just coming from crystal shape. And the Parody DMP is lovely sort of needle, not needle crystals, but very tabular and um, elongated crystals. Whereas the Ortho DDMP that was crushed, um, that crystals from just the acetone um, have a different shape, but still still very crystalline, but a lot more uh, square. And what's the word? Is it a quant? A, a quant? I don't know. It's been a few months since I did geology. Anyway, um, while the most interesting ones are the uh, DDMP formed when I dump the ortho DDMP in water. And they have sort of circular plate-like structures, um, which is very interesting. That's the that's the black one. So overall, this substance looks black. But when I look with the microscope, it's the sort of circular disc-shaped crystals that are of the the, uh, the typical orange color. So what have we actually achieved today? Because we set out today to try and, um, well, initially to improve density, but then to just try and get two different isomers looking the same under the microscope, the same crystal. Um, sort of habit so that we can compare them directly. Um, we haven't achieved that, but I haven't. I've had a bit of fun looking at crystals under microscopes. It's been it's been pretty fun, um, and I've learned that it's really quite difficult to control the crystal structure um, of two different substances 
um, when you're doing them individually, uh, slight variations you do end up with very different crystal structures. So um, I thought it would be very easy to get the two different isomers of DDMP looking identical under the microscope, but they look anything but identical. So um, and that's really interesting. Um, but I now get to compare the different crystalline structures um, within the isomers at, as well as the different isomers. Um, and in reality, I won't be able to, when I say compare, I, I don't really have sophisticated testing methods. So, you know, these will all basically look like the same substance to the camera in terms of burning, detonation, impact. So, um, but it's nice to, nice to prove that the, the two isomers are, are the same. Even though one should slightly be um, superior, um, theoretically, um, but that theoretical uh, advantage is probably lost. Um, it's probably less than than the um, anything you gain from from uh, crystalline substances. So probably the best one out of all of them theoretically is this is this nice recrystallized parity DMP. Um, but we probably won't be able to show that. Um, I don't know if I'm making sense. Let's go light one of these filter papers on fire to show you that this is still a very fast burning substance. And then I'm done with this series because, well, on this channel and I'll upload the um, full comparison videos, which would just be, um, you know, a classic explosion of fire video where it's, it's you know, four minutes, got some shit music in the background and, um, you know, it'll be nonstop me lighting things on fire. So <clears throat> I've got to make that video. Um, and you'll see that up in probably two, three, maybe four weeks. Um, anyway, thanks for watching once again. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, this video wasn't too much of a waste of your time. Um, I hope you just enjoyed the pretty crystals anyway.